So welcome to Dr. Neha's vlog. Um, today we have a special guest. Uh, she is a colleague of mine as well as a friend. Her name's Kathy. So Kathy, thanks for joining us. And um, thanks for sharing what we typically do on a Saturday uh, with everybody so that uh, everyone can join in on our conversation. Thanks, good to be here. <laughs> so what do you want, what do you, what's on your mind? So I think my question today is, trying to get clear around why I can keep um, or be more dedicated to work commitments than I am to commitments to myself and about my own care and work-life balance. Mm, okay, so this is a big one. Your profession is? Care, caring nursing. for others. Yeah. Right, yeah. nursing, healthcare. And so when you originally uh, moved into that field, what was your intention? Well, I think my intention was to help others yeah. who were sick and needed care. Yeah, so you're probably pretty good at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in your life, give me some generalizations. What types of relationships do you find yourself where you're giving more to others than uh, sometimes you're receiving? Well, I think uh, I certainly, I don't know if it's necessarily giving more, maybe it is, uh, as you asked the question, but I do find myself being like one of the oldest uh, kids um, in a family of seven children, mm -hmm. that I was kind of the caretaker of the younger brothers and sisters, and probably still spills over today. Yeah. Um, oh, with your in siblings. In some ways, yeah, in some ways with my siblings. Mm -hmm. And even probably uh, historically in relationships, maybe, I... Mm -hmm. um, worry more about others than I do about myself mm. in relationship. Yeah, and then you mentioned also at work. Yes, and definitely at work. Right. And so uh, when you worry more about them, right, your family, your work, your relationships, and you mean friendships and romantic relationships? Right. Okay. Um, what, it, what would be an underlying uh, assumption that you're making? So if you're really worried about them and you have to take care of them, what would be a fundamental underlying assumption there? Uh, well, maybe two things come to mind. Um, one not so good. Uh, <laughs> well, both two not so good, really. Uh, but I think the underlying assumption would be that, one, they need somebody to take care of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and two, uh, maybe how they feel or how they're cared for is more important than how I'm cared for or looked after. Mm. So you get left out of the equation in this experience. Yeah. Yeah. And so what's the impact of leaving you out of the equation? Um, well, I think uh, it could be burnout. For sure, um, mm -hmm. in work, like working until I'm tired and then it's not productive, or um, I get sick. So um, physically, physically get, get sick, right? Like you tired, come down with the flu, tired or somehow, yeah. Yes. Uh, and I think in personal relationships, I get um, tired or it's draining, and so then I avoid. So it actually, I guess, distances distances me. Wow. So the impact of you skipping over yourself and putting all your energy into caring for others is that you physically can get ill yourself and you can't do what it is that gives you, that fulfills you. Or secondly, you, in the relationships and the people you care for and you love, you actually become more distant from them and almost, it sounds like, and you can correct me, uh, that there's like a little bit of avoidance and resentment, like it's too much for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I so think it, there does there is a bit of resentment. Yeah. Yeah. So resentment's interesting, right? right? Resentment is when I'm, you know, drinking a bottle of poison, really hoping that you die. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here I am, uh, and then I wonder why you look so good. Let me have some more of this. And you still look pretty okay. Right. 
that's how effective it is right. or ineffective. Right. 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 So resentment, the interesting thing about it is there's boundaries. There's boundaries that you're not drawing mm -hmm. to take care of you. And then when other people quote, walk all over them or, you know, don't even know they're there because you haven't told them. Right. You then resent them for doing that, even though you never told them that it was there. Does that make sense? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So what's it going to take? What's it going to take to include Kathy in the equation? Uh, well, I think it would probably be setting some boundaries and it be clear mm -hmm. about um, what that would look like for me. Mm. Getting clear about what I want. Yeah. And also it sounds like... Um, getting the fulfillment from you feeling good instead of getting the fulfillment from others' feedback to you. So it's, um, so it's uh, caring about what I think of myself. And how you than, feel. And how I feel, then I care about how others think of me or how they feel about and it's both because we live in a world where you want to be connected to others right but first you have to fill your cup so that when you give to others it's from a place of truly giving not giving to them because you need their approval their appreciation and that's what fills you because after a while that's never enough right that's what you're describing right right so, the, and that's the balance that's missing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. So what are your take homes? Uh, my take home is to uh, set some strong agreements with myself mm. in taking care of myself. So uh, I feel better about myself mm -hmm. uh, and am healthier um, and more able to give, I guess, um, more authentically. And you've got to let other people know about those boundaries. Set, set right? boundaries, yeah. Because you're going to set them, and then there's going to be the piece where you let other people know. Right. Right? And sometimes people don't like it when the rules change, because you've taught them how to treat you. Right. Right. So there might be a little bit of discomfort in this, and maybe we'll do part two. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So for all of you uh, who find yourself giving more to others than you do to yourself, do you ever feel resentful? Do you ever wonder and think that they should know? Uh, if that's true, um, you want to start paying attention to how clear you are about including yourself in the equation and also um, do you let them know so that they are aware of that. All right, well this has been Dr. Neha. Thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you shortly. And please comment down below. I'd love to hear uh, how, how your self-care is going.